Hello, my name is Joseph Perkins and this is my cultural presentation for the Clash of Leisure, Self and Society. Today I'll be giving you a tour of the wonderful country of Japan. I will guide you through exactly what this country does for its leisure, how the people in it spend their time, what factors determine how they spend their leisure time, and how these leisure activities are similar and different to the United States of America. So sit back, relax, keep all arms and legs inside the tour bus at all times, and enjoy your time aboard Japanese tours. First, let's start out with some background on this country. Japan is an island country in East Asia. Located in the Pacific Ocean, it lies to the east of the Sea of Japan, People's Republic of China, North Korea, South Korea, and Russia. Japan comprises over 3,000 islands. The largest islands are Honshu, Hokkaido, Kyushu, and Shikoku, together accounting for 97% of Japan's land area. Most of the islands are mountainous, many volcanic. For example, Japan's highest peak, Mount Fuji, is a volcano. Japan has the world's 10th largest population with about 128 million people. About 70 to 80 percent of the country is forested, mountainous, and unsuitable for agricultural, industrial, or residential use. This is because of the generally steep elevations, climate, and risk of landslides caused by earthquakes, soft ground, and heavy rain. This has resulted in extremely high population density in the habitable zones that are mainly located in the coastal areas. Japan is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. Japan is a constitutional monarchy where the power of the emperor is very limited. As a ceremonial figurehead, he is defined by the constitution as a symbol of the state and of the unity of the people. Power is held chiefly by the prime minister of Japan and other elected members of the diet, while sovereignty is vested in the Japanese people. The emperor effectively acts as the head of state on diplomatic occasions. As we wrap up with background, we move on to one of the most popular leisure activities in Japan, sports. The most common sport in Japan include baseball, association football, and other ball sports. Some of the martial arts and karate are also practiced by many people. There is no legally official sport of Japan, but the Japan Sumo Association describes sumo as the national sport of Japan, with baseball as the most popular spectator sport of the country. Sumo shows an important side of j traditional Japanese sport, a religious occasion as well as a sporting event. Many sumo rituals are closely associated with Shinto belief. It is believed that some of ancient sumo matches were a purely religious event with a predetermined outcome as an offering to kami. Some matches are done as divination. For example, if a fisherman and farmer held a match on the f and the fisherman won, a good catch was predicted for the year. I now take you to an actual sumo wrestling match. Let's stay quiet as we watch this spectacular event. After the Maijai restoration, various kinds of Western sports were introduced into Japan. Playing sports was adopted as a school activity and matches between universities became popular. During the 1870s, track and field, soccer, rugby union, cricket, and ice skating were introduced in those days. Western sports were played by few people, but through the educational system, they spread throughout the country. Western sports were initially stressed as a form of mental discipline, but Japanese have now come to enjoy them as recreational activities. Professional sports, the most famous being baseball, which continues even today, started in the late 1920s. Motorsport has become quite popular in Japan, especially during the latter third of the 20th century. Another factor that contributes to the popularity of motorsports is the use of cars as a form of personal expression. With cars costing less than homes in Japan, many youth spend a lot of, on their cars and consequently get involved in both amateur racing, both legal and illegal. Many Japanese racing drivers come from the background to find success in many racing series, both in Japan and around the world. Drifting is a relatively new form of motorsport that is distinctly Japanese and is now being exported abroad. You have may have heard of the Hollywood movie Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, which was about this sporting event. And now we leave sports and head into popular culture. Japanese popular culture not only reflects the attitudes and concerns of the present, but also provides a link to the past. Popular films, television programs, manga, and music all developed from older artistic and literary traditions. And many of the themes and styles of presentation can be traced to traditional art, art forms. Contemporary forms of popular culture, much like tra traditional forms, provide not only entertainment but also an escape for the contemporary Japanese from the problems of an industrial world. 
When asked how they spent their leisure time, 80% of a sample of men and women surveyed by the government in 1986 said they averaged about two and a half hours per weekday watching television, listening to radio, and reading newspapers or magazines. Some 16% spent an average of two and one quarter hours a day engaged in hobbies or amusements. Others spent leisure time participating in sports, socializing, and personal study. Teenagers and retired people reported more time spent on all of these activities than did other groups. In the late 1980s, the family was the focus of leisure activities, such as excursions to parks or shopping districts. Although Japan is often thought of as a hard-working society with little time for leisure, the Japanese seek entertainment wherever they can. It is common to see Japanese commuters riding the train to work, enjoying their favorite manga, or listening through earphones to the latest in popular music or port on portable CD music players. A wide variety of types of popular entertainment are available. There is a large selection of music, films, and the products of a huge comic book industry, among other forms of entertainment for which you choose. Game centers, bowling alleys, and karaoke are popular hangout places for teens, while older people may play shogi or go in specialized parlors. And now we move on to what is, how much time is spent on leisure and who spends it most. For decades, the Japanese government has formulated policies to shape leisure activities aiming to influence people's free time and how they enjoy that time. Since the early 1990s, the government has sought to improve quality of life, trying to transform the country into a lifestyle superpower. In a recent account, there have been various changes in government leisure policies. There have been efforts to provide more free time for workers and students. Schools and businesses have been encouraged to adopt five-day weeks, dropping Saturday as a school work day. New public holidays have been established. Monday holidays have created three-day weekends. In 1994, the government announced a desire to reduce working hours across the country, setting a target of 150 regular hours per month by 1996. There have also been policy to encourage the building of museums, resorts, and theme parks. Japan is very traditional, and they still typically view men as a sp superior to the two sexes. For the most part, men experience just a little more leisure than women do. The largest emerging trend in Japan is tourism and travel. Despite the cost of airline nowadays, people are still flocking to this country to view all its historical background. Japan is expected to get a large plus in its economy. I don't think this trend will have a significant impact on leisure in the United States. There are still many spectacular things to see in the United States, so we should not be too worried about it and it won't affect us greatly. To sum up my presentation, Japanese people are only human like the people that live in every other country. Though they may have work on three, their minds for most of the time, they still know how to have fun. They play sports like we do in America, they listen to popular music like we do in America, they watch movies like we do in America, and they care about each other like we do in America. However, they are not American, they are Japanese and darn proud of it. This concludes our tour of the great country of Japan. Please make sure you have all your belongings and please exit to the front of the bus. My name is Joseph Perkins and I thank you for choosing Japanese tours. I hope you have a pleasant day. Goodbye.